That's your ball? No, mine. That's your... It is broken. It's broken. Yeah. Yeah. You can pull that. Kinley did it? Yeah. <laughs> can you say good morning? Morning. So, good morning, everybody. So, we've already been busy about our day. We actually had two orthodontist appointments this morning. I like having them first, like, early, just to get them out of the way. We are... So, it's the week after... Well, today's January 3rd. So I guess that's the week after Christmas, right? I don't know. So we're starting back school this week, but we're gonna kind of ease into our routine starting today, mainly because we had those orthodontist appointments. Oh, thank you. <laughs> mainly because we had those orthodontist appointments this morning. So we're having the kids do math and a reading lesson. And tomorrow we will start with other stuff as well. <laughs> Mostly for my sanity. And I still wanna get a few things yeah, and then co-op starts back next week. Um, I just want to get a few things in order. Mostly my mind. Miss <laughs> Kelly? So, okay. Yeah. Um, I like going to co-op. You like going to co-op? Yeah. Here's part. Your teacher is so nice. Yeah, your teacher is nice. I go home. Yeah. I go away. I go away. Okay, so... I'm hoping, I need to just kind of sit down and get my thoughts together, but get a little bit of organizing done and cleaning. I'd already deep cleaned the schoolroom. I did that over the weekend. Um, we have to change our chores There's around. A mess now. So, yeah, there is a mess in the schoolroom now. <laughs> Thank you, Reagan. No, we're Did you make that mess? Yeah. No. There's another kinetic sand mess that needs to be cleaned up before we officially start back to school. But we switch our chores out at the beginning of every month. And I'm surprised none of the kids have actually said, hey, you need to switch chores. Like they even kind of forgot because I said something about it. And um, they normally are asking me like towards the end of every month, what are we switching chores? So I'm going to work on that. I'll share that with y'all as soon as I figure out what I'm doing. Okay, so <laughs> it is always loud and chaotic and somebody talking in the background. So sorry. sorry about that, but it is what it is around here. So this is our chore board. It's just a magnetic board. I've seen them at Ikea. I'm sure Amazon probably has something like it. A friend actually gave this one to me. I've seen them at Joanne's fabric store. I've seen them at many different places. But then these are the, um, these are yeah, magnetic dry erase labels. I got those on Amazon. So just for reference, I've had a lot of people ask me about this whenever I've showed this before. So very much real life is all dinged up, but <laughs> this has worked really good. So we have the chores paired up by roughly two chores. Um, some of them, like this is like relatively easy. That's how come there's three there. So Nathan's idea, because we always have this talk every single month, is we kind of end up listening to the kids and asking what chore that they want to switch to. I say we, that's kind of what I do. But Nathan was saying that we need to just switch over each name. So like Taylor just literally moves next door and those are her chores and so on and so forth. So then it's just the rotation and everybody is working in an area, you know, which is ideal. Like I want the kids to know how to do all of these things, but it's just hard to do that because obviously we're very busy and just like Taylor's really good at dishes. So it's like, I don't have to worry about, you know, anyways. I don't have to worry about the dishes. I know that she will do them. So if another child, like, let's say, so um, isn't good in an area, <laughs> but they need to learn. They need to learn. So we are going to work on this this month. I just want to, I need to figure out if I want to move the names that way <laughs> or that way now. Can I make this any more complicated? Um, so for encouragement, so Logan is eight and this past month he was sweep them off. Okay, sorry, I had to get Camden. I finish out my thought process. I don't know exactly where I was. My point in saying is at, towards the end of the month, Logan the way, was doing a much better job sweeping. Having a month in that job, you know. So it kind of just encouraged me that we definitely need to do the chore system the way that Nathan said. <laughs> what are you doing? You look so funny. So the kids are wanting to go on a nature walk. So we are going to go do that now. And I will finish the tour board later because I haven't done that yet. But I want to do it because there's chores that need to be done, like the dishwasher needs to be unloaded and all that stuff. So, but first we will go have some fun, get out in the fresh air, and go on a nature walk. You want to go on a nature walk? No, no. <laughs> no, no. So, 
So before we head outside, I want to share with you guys that today's video is a collab with my friend Amanda and her channel is From His Bountiful Blessings. Amanda is also a homeschool mom and they have five children and she shares so many good meal ideas on her channel. I get so much dinner inspiration from her. <laughs> Thank you, Amanda, because y'all know I need that inspiration around here. That is like my least favorite thing to do. Yes, it is. It's to cook dinner. So anyways, I will put all of Amanda's um, information in the description box below. So go check out her channel and tell her that Jessica sent you. <laughs> Addie. Oh my goodness. Addie said a nature walk in Florida is just seeing squirrels. And alligators. Don't forget about the alligators. <laughs> well, so we totally had to run back inside and get jackets because we are wimps with the cold weather <laughs> it's very windy though but it's like 50 something 50 something degrees <laughs> you gonna jump down all right go for it <laughs> It's a huge thing every single month. Oh, and some children that shall remain nameless are already saying, but I like this tour. Why can't I just do this? I'm like, I don't know. Why can't you just do that? I'm like, I'm going to be firm. We're going to do it this way. Staying firm, y'all. Staying firm. Huh. I kind of want to do dishes. See? <laughs> That's what gets me in trouble. Okay. So, I'm going to show you what I came up with. <laughs> so, I did end up moving some around just so that they're paired up more evenly. So, schoolroom and sweep living room will go together. So, that child, you know, straightens up the schoolroom as needed and sweeps it. it. Then, bathroom and fold clothes go together. So, one thing that has really helped that I've noticed is if we have two kids that fold a basket a day. Um, so, bathroom, fold clothes go together. So, put away food and wipe table. That's kind of like the same, like that goes together and fold clothes. So, Addison and Peyton can sit and fold laundry together. <laughs> laundry and clean man. So laundry is more like the laundry shuffler, like helping me switch loads as needed if I can't get to it. Um, then sweep and mop and mm -hmm. foyer and shoes. So that kind of goes together because it's all one area for us. That's Miley and Taylor and Addie and yep. Peyton. And then dishes yeah. and unload dishwashers. So that is something that we haven't ever done is have the same kid do these chores, but that goes together too. So I think that makes sense. And Addie actually came up with that, so thanks Addie. <laughs> but Lord help me with Logan doing dishes, but he's eight, we will get through this. He's gotta learn, right? Power through mom, power through. I'm giving mom myself a pep talk. And so Reagan and Harper, I did not change though. They are to pick up all the toys and um, help clean up the yard, the toys that get out, put out in the yard and <laughs> look at your face. <laughs> okay, I did it, I did it. So Nathan like writes little notes, tickle someone with somebody's chore. Who should have tickle someone? You. Okay, that's your chore. Reagan is tickle someone. Go tickle someone. <laughs> okay, so I don't know why I'm sharing all of that. It's taking up way too much of my mental energy today. However, Hopefully it's helpful to some of you guys. We are trying to work on our chores, our routines and systems that are, are in our house um, and just trying to make things obviously work better. And the older, you know, some kids are getting, it just changes things and it changes dynamics and stuff like that. So that is what we are working on going into the new year. 
um, as well as some other things of, you know, teaching the kids different things. Um, but hopefully it helps somebody. I don't know why I'm sharing all that, but again, it's just how my day's going. <laughs> and got baby Camden asleep now. And he's snoring. Listen to those sweet baby noises. See nothing like it. All right, so I'm going to start sharing some real life. <laughs> we got to get this house in order. That kinetic sand, y'all. Oh my goodness. <laughs> it's all over the place. Like I've even seen it in my bedroom. So I need to go sweep that up. I think it's about to get packed away. Are you having fun? Oh, what do you have? Play-Doh. Hmm? <laughs> so we definitely need to get things cleaned up and straightened up and <laughs> tell kids <laughs> what chores that they have. You ready, dude? Nope. Huh? Nope. Guess what you have? What? Unload the dishwasher and doing the dishes. <laughs> Doesn't that sound like so much fun? It, it sure is fun for you. It sure is fun for me. <laughs> and we got a messy living room. And of course, there's always laundry to fold. <laughs> Wish that I could stay in this moment forever so I can hold You think you can fit anything else in that backpack? No. I can fit all this stuff in there. <laughs> you got a lot of stuff in there. All right. All is right in the world. Except for that was right there. You don't see that, okay? <laughs> There's always a little bit of a mess somewhere and laundry. I mean, who wants to do laundry? <laughs> so I had every intention of actually sitting and folding it. However, it's somewhat quiet. Camden's asleep, Kinley's asleep, and I think Drew is just about to give into his nap. <laughs> so I made another cup of coffee. I'm gonna sit and enjoy the quiet and get some reading done and just enjoy this moment while I have it. Most of the kids, I mean, the other kids are in and out playing. Yes, that's very pretty. Um, playing outside. So, Jackson's very proud of himself. He dug the hole and reached water. Uh, we reached the water and we're looking for limestone. But if we don't find limestone, our main goal is looking for fossils. All right, well, have fun. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> Just give the kids a dirt pit and a shovel. <laughs> they have a ton of fun. They get rather dirty. <laughs> but dirt washes most of it. <laughs> Alright, so it's a little bit later and we are working on dinner. Peyton was my helper. We are done. So she has left to go off and play. <laughs> so I'm trying to teach each of the kids some cooking stuff as well. Um, several of the kids know how to do quite a bit. But, you know, there's always room to expand. So I'm going to show you what we got going on for dinner. So we have these chicken kebabs that we got at Costco. They are already cooked, but we're going to throw them on the grill. And we decided to marinate one in Italian dressing. And then we made this barbecue honey sauce that is looking really good. What do you think about that? Huh? Does it it look has good? a stick on it. It does have a stick on it. <laughs> so Nathan, It looks good in yeah. this. Nathan's outside getting the grill ready, and then he'll throw these on. Camden's going to be a little sous chef. Are you going to help cook dinner? Yes. <laughs> so over here, we've got some rice cooking, baked beans. Miley asked, she was like, oh, can we have some baked beans? So we're having some of those. And then we got um, fresh green beans that we've already sauteed. We got some bacon in there. They are really, really good. And the last time I was at Walmart, I saw this can. I forget the, the brand. I can't, I can't remember. But it's this okra corn tomato mix, and it just looked really good to me. So I'm heating that up. I'm the only one that'll eat that, but that looks really yummy. So dinner turned out pretty good. Those chicken kebabs were rather tasty, especially the barbecue ones. I really like the sauce. I kind of just threw stuff together though, so hopefully I could recreate that later. 
So the taste was really good, but the texture was, it wasn't chewy. Like, I don't know how to describe it. It just, there was something about it. So I don't know if maybe we grilled it a little bit longer. It would taste like crispier and better. I don't know. Taylor agreed with me. I think I do have a little bit of a texture sensitivity or something. I don't know <laughs> because I, I'm kind of weird about some other stuff too. But anyway, so, but they did taste pretty good. And we have another pack of them. So maybe we can try to cook them a little bit longer and see. I don't know, but they did taste good. So now we've got everything all cleaned up, ready to make another mess. <laughs> so the kitchen's all clean. The living room was clean. And now it's another mess. <laughs> that's all day long. Make a mess, clean a mess, make a mess, clean a mess all day long. But I mean, that's just life with kids, right? <laughs> so anyways, so like I said, we are trying to, you know, figure out a new system or order of what will work for us with some of our kids getting a little bit older and are more capable of helping in other areas. Um, which is good. It will have a little bit of growing pains with that, I'm sure, but obviously it's important to teach the kids these things. But hopefully these things will work out obviously over time and as we learn through them. So anyways, <laughs> thanks so much for hanging out with us and we will see y'all in the next video.